Hi, how are you? I'm here with Mark Coppola and Amelia Prentice back for Nightlife. Well, what was this week like for you guys? <laughs> well, <laughs> it was it was a uh, very very busy. We were everywhere this week. We went to the uh, Cat Club together. Yeah, we hung out there. We saw Sylvain Sylvain play. We're gonna be doing some stuff in there live. Some good footage on video. You were out too. Yeah, I was real busy this week. Uh, we went to St. Stephen's Church on West 69th Street, where Geraldine Fitzgerald was directing To Whom It May Concern. So we talked to her and a few members of the cast. And on They'll the be on the this week, yeah. Right, and we went to the duplex and uh, caught a girl's group. They're very naughty. They're called the Bad Attitudes. Very so they'll, naughty. Yes, yeah, very naughty. You'll enjoy that. So they'll be on this week as well. Uh, what I'd like to do is introduce to you uh, our West Coast host, who's a good friend of mine, who will be doing tape segments for us on the West Coast, Sandy Barron. Sandy. How you doing, gang? How you doing? <laughs> Giant modest. I've been lucky, is what happened. In, in some way that I don't understand the logic of, I made a jump in their heads to people hire you from comedian or television person into supporting actor movies. It's not something you can plan in your life. They make the jump of it on. And God bless Woody Allen, he started it with Broadway Danny Rose, and then I did Birdie. Wait a minute, how is his brother in Birdie? His brother's brilliant. His brother's brilliant? Absolutely brilliant. The <laughs> two best, Mark's brother is Nicholas Cage. And Why isn't the last name different then, huh? He's <laughs> in show that, business. <laughs> we'll go into that some other time. Nick Cage and Matthew Modine, the two young people in Birdie, are the best young actors in America. There's no doubt in my mind that Nick will be Brando of this generation, yeah. and that Matthew Modine will be Gary Cooper. There's no doubt. And then I did a picture with a lot of fellow comedians, with Dick Sean, Irwin Corey, Larry Storch. Listen to this group. <laughs> Larry Storch. Louise Lassa. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, Kay Ballard, Sheila McRae. Who'd I leave out? Larry Storch, my brother, Irwin Corey. I forgot. I'm somebody maybe. Called the Perils of PK. That'll be out this spring. And then I did one in Mexico, called uh, Mission Kill. <laughs> <laughs> in which I play an American journalist in a South American country going through a revolution. A lot of good people in there. And the last one that you know about, because you came down, it, and also one of your guests this week is in it, Kid Creole, he's in mm. it, uh, August is in it, is called Love Kills. And it's about Sid Vicious and Nancy and everything that went down at the Chelsea Hotel on 23rd Street. And I play Stanley Bard, the manager of the Chelsea Hotel on 23rd Street. So, it's one of those weird times. That's what I've been doing, thank God. <laughs> so we're looking forward to having your segments on the West Coast being flown in here. And eventually, uh, later on in the season, we're going to try and put the show on out in L.A. So now, it'll be, uh, it'll be I, I, out there. By coastal. I, I by think coastal. what's fascinating about it is that a lot of, the, a lot of people we're going to talk to in L.A. that you will see here are transplanted New Yorkers who will feel very proud that they're being seen in what they still call home. You know what I'm they saying? They miss it. They, they miss still it. call it home. What I want to do is, I remember when you were co-hosting the Della Reese show, you used to do uh, some improvisationals with whoever right. came on the show. Right. What I want to do is, why don't you try and do a couple of these improvs with Mark and Amelia, and... Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> we're in trouble now. I have not, ladies and gentlemen, I have not told anybody here... You have to believe ...what me. these bits are all about. Look, we're and if I'm telling already. you, if you know Jesus. cable, you know I haven't even thought about it yet. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let, let me tell you one thing about why I think they're magic, okay? The key to it right now at home is, if we're good, you laugh. If we're not good, you laugh. You laugh. Just, you laugh. <laughs> because you and feel so bad. Bad. The respect <laughs> for the bravery alone has to be so <laughs> immense. But, but we don't know what it is. You've got to trust Ephraim. It's the truth. We, we, we do know before the show that Ephraim had said, oh, do you want to improvise? Yeah, that we know. And we I said no, it. but he said you have to, otherwise you're off the picture. <laughs> My heart's already going to today. All right, you want to do it? Yeah, yeah let's do it. Why don't we uh, come back in about 30 seconds. Here we are, Sandy and Amelia. <laughs> I have not told them anything <laughs> of what they're going to do. What we have here is you guys are a couple who've been dating for about a year. Sandy wants to have a baby, and you want to have a career. Oh, God. Good Sandy luck, wants to have a baby, and she wants to have a career. <clears throat> so are you going to stay fully dressed in bed like that? Is that it? I mean, are you going to stay fully dressed? Yep. 
I mean, do, do we have to talk about this again? You know I respect your job. I respect it totally. Sure. I like the fact that you're an independent creature. I respect that in you. Don't you understand that? You don't understand anything. I understand I want a baby. You want a baby? That's right. You really want a baby? That's right. You do? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I want a baby. And I want it with you, because I love you, I respect you, and I want it with you. I consider it a compliment that my genes and my genetic structure, my intelligence, my, my values will be passed to a fellow human being who could carry it to a whole bunch of other years when I might not be around, and I want that. So, I don't mean to use emoji. <laughs> so I feel. I'm getting addressed, I don't care what you do, I mean that. Well, what are you going to do in the I'm going to try to put this and that. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try. I don't care if you call the cops. I don't care if you call the rape. I don't care what you do. Do you understand that? I mean it as a compliment, as a sign of my affection for you. I want a baby. What are you going to do in the middle of the night when you have to feed it? When I have to what? When you have to feed it. Feed the what? The baby. I have to feed the baby? Of course. Hey, what are you, hey, crazy? Hey, I have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning and go to work. What are you talking about? I work half the night. Who's going to look after the baby? It gets hungry at 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't get home until 3. I want some sleep. I'll feed the baby. You'll feed the baby? Yeah. Do you know how to feed a baby? You cut the food up small. Babies don't eat filet what? mignon. They don't eat steak. Don't you know what they eat? I don't blame them. <laughs> That's the way I do it. <laughs> We're back. That was real good with Maria. Yeah. Uh, uh, again, guys, uh, they do not know what this bit's going to be all about. Uh, I just stood off on the side and got a hilarious laugh, so this one should be funny. Uh, Mark, uh, you want to drop out of Princeton so you can get a job working for the sanitation department. <laughs> and you're talking to your dad. He wants to drop out of Princeton? <clears throat> dad? Yeah, yeah. Um, I got something to tell you. Good, good, because the key thing between us, as you know, is whatever's in your heart, I want to hear. I don't care what it is. I love you, and I want you to have whatever you want, and I could tell that you've been thinking of something recently. Just please, just get it out. Whatever you say will be fine with me, fine. How would you feel if I told you, you know I love you as my pop. I know that. That uh, it's just not going right for me in Princeton. I would, I, would, I would thank you for being that honest and that brave with me. That's what I would do. And well, I, I would be proud that you trusted me enough to just tell me, because it doesn't matter what you tell me. What matters is that you tell me to my face. That matters. Well, uh, I know you spent a lot of money on me in Princeton and... Uh, a hell of a lot. That's right. Two years now I've been there, but... Uh, I I've, I've thank God I had the money. I thank God I spent it. I'm proud of you. And when you get that degree, <laughs> it'll all be worth it. Dad, so, I'm dropping out. I, got, I found myself a new career. I want to work in the sanitation department. Good, so when you're finished... I want to work in the sanitation department, did you hear me? Right, you want to run it. You probably want to... No, 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 I just want to go... You probably want to be in charge. I want to go collect you're people's a garbage. Major. It's my life. You're a business major, and you probably want to run the sanitation department. No! Because you can't stand how inefficient it is. And I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you that when you finish Princeton and then get your master's degree from Yale Business School... Ha, 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 you know that, that I'm probably want to run the sanitation department. How many times have you Whatever come into you want, New York? I want for you. How many times have you come into New York and smelt that reeking odor? All those bags in the street. I'm proud of you. you know, I see it now. The mafia has the, the whole apartment. apartment. You know, no. I want to go collect people's garbage because I want to make New Shut York the beautiful. Fuck up. I want to make New York beautiful. I want to work in the back of a truck and I want to go collect people's garbage and put it in the dump. What are you, a fag? No, fag. I mean, what kind of fag decision is that? It's a union job. They pay good money. They pay more than I was making up there in that uh, working as a bookkeeper. You want to lift garbage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're developing a sense of humor, you son of a gun. So, okay, so let's say you start out in politics heading the sanitation department. Good idea. Now, when do you intend to run for mayor? I don't want to. Not... I don't have any. I don't want to be a manager. 
I don't want to do anything. I don't want to own the sanitation department. I don't want to work for the mafia in the sanitation department. I just want to collect people's garbage, put it on an eight-hour day, go home, go to sleep, watch TV, and go to sleep. That's what my life wants to be. It's got to be. It's got to be, Dad. It's got to be. You want to pick up garbage? <laughs> yes, I want to pick up garbage. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I want to just pick up garbage. Don't want to have the back of a truck. Get off the damn truck like this. Yeah. You know, go over here, pick up people's garbage like this. Haul, haul it over here and put it over here. All right? What's yeah. so bad about that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I'll, I'll give you back the money you, you, you paid for Princeton, all I right? I want a dime. I can make that money back in six months working for the sanitation department. It's a simple sanitation engineer. That's the proper way I think it is, isn't it? Not a garbage sanitation man. Engineer. Sanitation engineer. It's a garbage man. It's a sanitation engineer. It's a garbage man. Please, a little respect for my position I'm taking up. It's a sanitation engineer. That's Just what you think. want to do? Yes. You want to pick they up They make garbage? $15 an hour. What do you want me to tell the guys at work? What do you want me to tell my friends at work? Huh? He, uh, I'm he decided to quit Princeton and be a garbage man. I didn't quit Princeton. I got kicked out. I knocked up the dean's daughter. Listen, you know the first thing you want to practice throwing out? Your life. You hear me?